Hey everyone, this is Ted with OAX Ray, and today I'm excited to announce that people in Canada can source using OAX Ray on Canadian websites as well as US websites. So it's really cool. Let's get into this, and I'm going to show you how to use your settings so you can make sure everything is set up correctly. If we go to our extensions page, first thing you're going to notice is a little box here that says Marketplace. I can change this to Amazon.ca and it will compare the prices based on the prices on Amazon Canada. Make sure you also have your key in and hit save and you are good to go. So once our settings are saved, it's as simple as going to Toys R Us.ca and choosing a category. I am into action figures right now. So let's see what we come up with. So here I am with some Lego results. I'm just going to do 8 to 11 years old, see what we come up with. and I'm gonna... So here I am on some Lego results. I'm going to go to the 5 to 7 year olds. And you're going to notice it first shows up with 12 listings. Let me move it over to view all. Now it shows me 1 through 200, so it's going to be a lot less clicking around if we do it this way. We click on the OAX Ray extension here, and it's going to bring up the OAX Ray page and start running in the background. I'm going to move over to page 2, then I'm going to click on the OAX Ray extension again, and it's also going to start running that page in the background. Now as we... As everything is starting to get completed here, we move over to the OAX Ray tab, click on the positive ROI button, and we see that there's quite a few items with the positive ROI. So maybe we want to filter it a little bit more so we can click on My Buys to find items with a ROI over 50% and a rank under 100,000. Now, if you're new to selling in Canada, but you've sold in the US before, there's one thing that I like to do, and that is add a zero to the sales rank if you've prior, if before you sold in the US. And what this does is it's a reminder that there's one tenth of the population in Canada, and items in my experience sell a lot slower. So by adding the zero in your mind, you're just um, thinking that items sell a lot slower there. So don't be excited about the exact same ranks so here we are with a Lego creator and it looks like the ROI is great the sales ranks high but we're just gonna go into this one and by clicking on the Amazon link here and the Toys R Us .ca link now I've opened both web pages but one thing I want to be aware of is this item is oversized so keep that in mind when you're shipping this in so here's the Toys R Us listing it looks like lego creator bike shop cafe you do have a limit three per customer and but you can check here for local availability so you can pick up more if you want to now one thing i want to notice is also the regular price is 69 and it dropped to 49.99 so you're there but it does put you over the free shipping threshold of 49 dollars so that's also great so we go over to Amazon and we see that this exact same item is selling for a little bit more than double. Looks like um, $127.93. There are four reviews and they all seem to be really good. I'm going to see if I can find any more specific pictures to make sure this matches exactly. But it looks like, let's think, uh, three characters, a bike and a car. And there's the bike. Uh, da, 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 that looks like it bike car three characters okay that's the matching item I just want to make sure that everything matches up because the pictures um, don't show the box so as we scroll down um, we want to take note of the size of this item 1.4 kilos um, this is in centimeters and I'm going to copy the ASIN once we can or copy the ASIN we're able to paste it into the FBA revenue calculator. One thing to remember, the United States, Canada, and Mexico revenue calculator are all together in the same uh, calculator. So um, we're going to sell this for $129.99. Um, there were no FBA sellers, so that's the reason I say you might as well add a couple bucks to it. 
the inbound shipping. Now, if you're shipping through Canada, you don't have the Amazon partnered shipping, I believe yet. So we're going to put two bucks to ship this item in. Um, you can actually measure your boxes and this is actually after everything about four to five pounds so maybe it's going to cost a little less or a little more depending on where you are and then for the prep service fee this is a little trick i like to do i like to put in the cost of the item which is 49.99 hit calculate and it looks like we're going to spend 50 bucks on the item and we're going to make approximately 50 bucks on the item so we're at right about at 100 percent return on investment Looks like we've taken all the steps we need to do to make a buy decision. Make sure you have a rank threshold that you're comfortable with and an ROI threshold that you're comfortable with and work out your shipping options before you start buying items, especially in Canada. I don't, they, so far, they do not have the Amazon partnered shipping. So try to best find the best deal you can on the inbound shipping. Thank you very much. Have a great day and make some money using OA X-Ray.